Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Sammy Guevara has returned to Ring of Honor. Not AW Dynamite. Not Collision. Not Rampage. He made his return Sunday night at the tapings. This is a spoiler, but it's news. Great alert. He, uh, yeah, great job with whatever's going on with your internet. What is with that internet, brother? All I heard I was know. a long, loud glitch of something that you said there. But anyway, he has returned to attack members of the Dark Order and make the save for Dustin, who is uh, one-third of the ROH... Uh, Trios champions. Now, as I noted on my subscriber Twitter, on my X, I know that everybody has immediately jumped to the following conclusion. He was moved to Ring of Honor because Mercedes Monet is on the main AEW television show. And if you recall, there was an incident a couple of years ago where Sammy made a, a comment about her, which was inappropriate. And uh, as a result, people now think that's not why, or that is why he is no longer on, on AEW television. And I was told that him being on Ring of Honor has absolutely nothing to do with Mercedes. Now, I mentioned that to some people, and they were like, no, there's no way. It has to be. And all I can tell you is this, okay? Sammy has been ready to go for a little while. And they did have a storyline for Sammy Guevara that would have brought him back to the main roster. I'll call it the main roster. AW, uh, um, Dynamite Collision, uh, whatever. But um, there was an aspect of the storyline that he was not uh, he was not cool with. I think it involved him turning heel and he didn't want to turn heel, whatever it was. But uh, anyway, they did have a storyline and uh, they decided, well, you know, he doesn't want to do that aspect of the storyline. So they ended up coming up with a storyline where he's a babyface on Ring of Honor. So there were plans to bring him back to the main roster when Mercedes Mon Monet was there, and it didn't happen. So uh, I'm sure he'll be back on the main roster. I would bet you anything that by the end of the year, he's back doing Dynamite and Collision, etc. If you want to think that it has to do with Mercedes, that's fine. But I was told it does not. And if he never appears on Dynamite, Collision, etc. again, as long as Mercedes is there, he can come back to me in a couple of years and go, see, I told you so. But I would strongly suspect that you will see him back uh, soon enough on, uh, on the AW roster. Do you think he was going to be one of the bad apples under the learning tree? I don't know. I don't know what the, the idea was for him. I thought that's what he was going to do on Wednesday, but apparently that was never the plan. Well, then he would have had to turn heel. and he Well, he would have, but so. I think that, you know, whatever it was was a while ago. It wasn't yes. something that just happened. It was, uh, they'd been talking about ideas for the main roster for quite a while now. How and, long uh, ago was that comment that he made about Mercedes? A long I mean, time ago. And then... After the fact, once it made its way around social media, he got disciplined for it, if I'm not mistaken. He did so, get disciplined for it. Let's say in whatever fantasy world people are living in, or maybe there's a kernel of truth to it, I don't know. But let's just pretend that's the case. If so, you've got a lot invested in Mercedes. You brought in Jennifer Prettyman. You've given her a lot of money. You give her a lot of time. She's a big Prettyman? cog. Jennifer Prettyman. Pepperman. Pepperman, I'm sorry, yes. was brought in. So all of these things, obviously, she's your priority. So in that world where if that's true, that Mercedes was flexing influence, then release Sammy Guevara and Ty, and, or at least offer that to them. So... That's not happening. Obviously, that's not the case. I was surprised that that got brought back up as that could possibly be an issue. And it's crazy that things can't change, things don't change, or things get blown out of proportion. And I'm interested one day, and this is just because Cody Rhodes brought it up a week or so ago when he was asked about AEW and there's things that people don't know and you could write multiple books on it and all that sort of stuff. 
you know, you can have a beef, as I'm sure he did, with some of the other EVPs and some of the other people involved in AEW. And people hear that or overhear that or hear a story or somebody vents to somebody. What you never hear about is, this got patched up. We shook this off. That's just doing business. Actually, if I may interrupt, in we did hear Go about ahead. that because Sammy did, uh, I believe, did an interview a while ago. And he said that after that all went down, he personally contacted her and he apologized and she accepted. So he did say that that happened and that was out. So I have no reason to believe that didn't happen. So I think that everything is water under the bridge. Get- You notice how that doesn't get pulled back up, whereas the original thing did, because people just have to do that and they have to point that out without, you know, any balance to it whatsoever. So I think it's just a silly thing that got blown out of proportion here. And I'm sure. And look, I thought Jay Briscoe was going to lose that title. I don't know what role Sammy's really going to play in Ring of Honor. But I was surprised that Mark Briscoe did not lose that title to Roderick Strong because I thought we'd get like Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly for that belt or something like that. But hopefully this means (laughs) that Mark Briscoe will still be on AEW TV because they absolutely need him to be. And this person here goes, what position does Sammy have backstage that he can say no to what he's been given from creative? Sometimes I wonder if anybody knows anything about anything when it comes to AEW. This happens all the time this happens all the time with all sorts of people they don't want to do this they don't want to do that they're not feeling this they're not feeling that and they don't end up doing this to act like this is a sammy specific thing think again this happens all the time with all sorts of people not wanting to do what is suggested to them. This is a story that's been going on five years now. It is nothing new at all. It happens in every wrestling promotion and has since the beginning of time and even happened with Vince McMahon and WWF and WWE and that iron claw that they had on people. It just, you, you didn't, you know, do a whole lot of pushing back then. But some people do. It's going to happen where people have a disagreement over their their creative and the thing with aew is they give more rope than anybody else more than any other major company i guess since wcw where guys can actually you know make those calls and say i don't want to do this or i don't feel it's good and as long as it's a positive thing that's a good thing it can be a good thing hey if you love this clip have i got a deal for you wrestlingobserver.com Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.